Hello, do you require all the analysis you need to achieve the very highest marks to explore in Sing Song, but haven't got hours to waste doing it? Well, look no further. The aim of this video is to provide you with all the information you require to achieve the very highest marks when using this poem in your writing. So without further ado, let's begin. So, essentially, focusing on a son who has been given the responsibility of running one of his father's convenience shops, the speaker relays his daily work and relationship with his bride to the reader. Newly married, the speaker highlights the pleasure he has when referring to his wife, but also the poor quality of his store in the eyes of his customers. The poem concludes with a couple downstairs and the speaker complimenting his wife on her priceless quality. Contextually, the poet wrote the poem to celebrate the stereotypical view of Indians as shopkeepers in the UK in order to also celebrate his love for his parents. Owning a shop was seen as a way to become independent from your family in order to begin a new life. And using the phonetic voice to create the Indian accent was employed deliberately to ensure the reader experienced the voice of an Indian using English and to help ensure that a belief grows that there is no issue with the accent and therefore the person. For analysing the form, well, using phonetic spelling helps to create the voice of the speaker throughout the poem in order to better capture his identity for the reader. Using a dramatic monologue helps to create the voice of the speaker as we've highlighted already to ensure we understand a character which many readers may not normally engage with in this manner. Structurally, the poem is structured like a normal day ending at night and using the incorrect grammar in places helps to create the voice of that speaker. Repetition in line two helps indicate how repetitive the job is. Opening the poem with daddy highlights the importance of relationship and hierarchy with him. And repetition of my bride creates a sense of pride, but also possessiveness. Finally, linguistically, daddy helps to highlight the love of the speaker towards his father, but it can also represent a feeling that the father is not allowing the son to grow. Moon is seen normally as a time of secrecy, and in mythology is you depicted as a goddess. This suggests that he sees his wife as just that. Tartan helps to highlight the clash between Indian and British culture with the item on his wife to actually highlight his love for them both. And finally, priceless obviously indicates the importance and value of the wife for the speaker. So thank you. There's a great selection of analysis that you should be using. So now go, and you, go away and use it. Thank you. Good luck.